As an overview of polylines, I'll complete the last two drawings in the polyline exercise. Because all of my segments are straight, I'll go ahead and turn on ortho, and I'll start with that little arrow. So I'll type PL to begin my polyline. I'll pick a start point, and then I'll choose W for width, because this polyline has a width. For the tail of the arrow, the width is 0.2, and I'll use that for both my starting and ending width. And the length of this little segment is 1.5. For the next segment, my starting width will be 0.5, but because I want it to go to a point, my ending width will be 0. And then for the length of this segment, I'll say 1. For the last shape, I'll start my polyline, choose a start point. This time I'll type W for width, and I'll set the width to 0.1 for both starting and ending width, because the lines throughout this whole shape are 0.1 units wide. I'm going to start in the top left corner. My first segment is 1.5 units long, splitting that 3 unit dimension in half. Then I'll go up 1 unit. And now I need to add an arc, so I'll choose A for the arc option within polyline. And you can see in the second to the bottom line in my command line, it says specify endpoint of arc. And I can kind of preview the shape of my arc. So with ortho on, if I just move my cursor to the right and enter the correct length, in other words, the diameter of the arc for the endpoint, I'll get the right shape. So in that case, I'll put in 1.5. And it's still in arc mode, which you can tell because my next segment is going to draw an arc. So to go back to line, I'll type L for the line option. And I'll draw a segment down one unit. Now you should keep drawing using one polyline, but I'm going to end this polyline so that you can see how to join polylines. If it happens by accident, you need to start over again. So I'll start the polyline command again. For my start point, I'm going to use an end object snap to snap to the point I left off at. And I'll just keep drawing. So in this direction, I'll draw one, arc again, 1.5, L for line, go back four units, and then up 1.5. So I've completed the shape, however, I actually have two different polylines. If I select one, I'm not selecting the entire shape, but I'd like it to be one shape. So I'll use the poly edit command and type PE, and it'll prompt me to select a polyline. I'll select one of my polylines, doesn't matter which. And the option I want to use is join, so J for join. I'll select the object I'm joining to it, the other polyline, press enter. You can see it says four segments added to polyline. I'll just press enter to exit the command. And now I have one polyline. Be careful because next time you start a polyline, you'll be using the width from the last polyline. So when you're done, you might want to set it back to zero.